¿Cuál es lo que dice? 332. Ahí está, ahí está donde. Eh, pero no sé, no yeah, sé. Nomás ponga el número de ahí three, para que quede junto. 3, 2, ¿no tienes punto? Sí, point 47. Point 47, right here. Ok. Aquí. 33247, aquí. Entonces. <tose> All right, on this job, communication and teamwork is key. Also, having the right tools makes the job run a lot smoother. Everyone Hope one is doing well and staying positive. Now, this is another video from the longest concrete retaining wall on YouTube. You guys can click that link below to get caught up. And while you're down there, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, we welcome you to the channel and we hope you subscribe. We're getting closer to that 10,000 mark. Right, so one thing I remember about this phase of the project that it was extremely cold and windy kind of reminds me of the Indiana weather. So by now you guys know how we rock and roll when it comes to these retaining walls. We pretty much got this process on lock. So if you're in the San Francisco Bay Area, Sacramento area, hit us up. All our information is below. Pretty much going to let this video ride out. So sit back, relax, enjoy the music. Any questions, any comments, leave those down below. Greatly appreciate it. Alright, so on the last video, I got a couple questions on why we don't use the metal concrete forms or the plywood method. One reason is that we pretty much have muscle memory when it comes to these 2x12s. Another one is in Cali, a lot of our clients like to have that industrial look of the 2x12s, that wood look. But for the most part, if all possible, I like to pour all our walls monolithic, one pour. I don't like to separate the footing for the uh, the footing and the wall is two pours. Now in this particular project, we had to do it because this was a gray beam and pier system. But if all possible, I like to pour it all monolithic. Now we'll leave a link down below showing you that we do got the skills to do a job if we're using the plywood or metal concrete forms. That job came out dope as well. I believe it was about 10 feet tall, 90 feet long.
So I'm going to jump back into this video. Again, if you guys got any questions, any comments, leave those down below. While you're down there, hit that like button. That helps out the channel. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. We're closer to that 10,000 mark. So definitely appreciate you guys on that. And you definitely want to stick around to the end. I kind of got the drone up and I'm showing the whole house drainage system tied into the main drainage system to kind of give you guys a sneak peek of our next video well i hope it's our next video well do have that video coming out but i don't know if it'll be the next one but check it out stick around to the end that also helps out our algorithm appreciate you guys Right, you know you can follow us on instagram to get a behind scenes look of what it takes to build this to build this retaining wall or any other project that we have We're also on twitter pretty heavy so follow us over there You'll probably be seeing a bunch of youtube shorts come through your feed so i appreciate you guys liking those videos as well in fact if you've seen any of those shorts come through your feed leave a comment down below let me know that you saw them and also we're on TikTok, but you gotta have some discipline on that app. It is straight comedy over there. So again, you guys wanna stick around to the end. You're gonna see some before and after pictures of this project. You're gonna see us loading up the trailer, all in the forms, getting them ready for the next job. And also got a sneak peek of a video that I'm working on where it shows the uh, surface drains for the uh, house tying into the main one. So definitely appreciate you guys. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, share with your friends, and continue watching the video. Definitely appreciate it. Thank you.